Good morning, and thanks for joining me again for devotions today as we continue reading through Revelation. Today we're going to be reading from Revelation chapter 7, which is an interesting part of Revelation. What's been going on is that seals are being broken by this lamb who has been slain. And those seals bring forth judgment on the earth. They're bringing forth destruction, calamity. Terrible things are happening. Um, and in chapter 7, we have a break. There's a pause as we take a view on people who have been marked in some way for God. In verse uh, 1 of chapter 7, it says, After this I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth, so that no wind could blow on the earth or sea or against any tree. I saw another angel ascending from the rising of the sun, having the seal of the living God. And he called with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to damage earth and sea, saying, Do not damage the earth or the sea or the trees until we have marked the servants of our God with a seal on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 sealed out of every tribe of the people of Israel. This 144,000 have been of great interest to people over the past 2,000 years. These are people sealed um, and, and set aside, protected by God in some special way. 12,000 out of each of the 12 tribes of Israel. This is followed by a great multitude that will uh, assemble and be washed by God, be cleansed. And uh, we are to imagine ourselves to be part of the great multitude of people that are welcomed into God's presence uh, as if we count ourselves uh, as faithful people. The 144,000, there are various guesses to who belongs in that group and various uh, attempts that people make to become part of that group even though there's really nothing laid out in scripture other than that these will be out of the tribes of the people of Israel. There's a difference in other words between those who are sealed out of the tribes of Israel, those who are called to be part of the great multitude and those who will experience some, some really terrible things when God's reign is revealed. God brings justice. And justice doesn't affect everyone equally because people have different experiences during this period of injustice. So the high are brought low, the low are raised up. And it's hard to tell what that will mean when uh, justice is brought. And so we might worry about what is going to happen. Or we might hope that we are going to be the ones who are vindicated by this kind of judgment. I would say that there's not much worth in trying to figure out which side you're going to be on. Where there is value is in rededicating yourself to serving Christ, to serving God, and to recognizing God's place even now as an authority capable of fair judgment across all people. And it's worth dedicating yourself to Christ, who, despite our lack of deserving fair treatment, will treat us more than fairly and give us amazing opportunities to be part of God's kingdom. Would you join me in prayer? God, keep us from the temptation to so polish your image that those who most need your love feel too dirty to approach you. Amen. Have a blessed day.